we serve an excellent God, so our job is to do excellent work. So shoot for flawless execution. Strategically, we want to achieve that through accurate and timely communications and collaboration. Point one, I cannot emphasize this enough. Note for your handout, note for your handout, develop an implementation plan. Does not have to be complex, it doesn't have to be complicated, but oftentimes when where the implementation phase goes in an area of disarray is because people are not sure who to or what about them. Develop an implementation plan. If they're just purchasing X number of Evangel cubes or Evangel balls, do a one-page table of matrix that says key responsibilities, key action items, due dates, and attach names, okay? Key responsibilities or roles and responsibilities, key action items, due dates, so that everyone is on the same page in terms of who, who, and what, by when, okay? Now, if you're doing a number of programs concurrently with the same church, your implementation plan could be several pages long, and that's okay, but just have something, okay? Have something so that the entire team is in alignment, okay? Implement some type of evaluation or assessment program to track your progress. Again, to Claudia's point earlier, for stewardship purposes, this is so critical. You want to build in a note to your handout, for your handouts, qualitative and quantitative <coughs> measurements. Qualitative and quantitative measurements. Because at some point, the senior pastor may say, well, what has E3 partners done? We want to be able to qualify and quantify that. What has the added value been, okay? By quantify, I mean numbers oriented. We help increase the uh, missions trip participation by 20%, or we um, donated X number of evangel cubes, or we purchased X number of evangel. Quantify it, okay? By qualitative, I mean the exact opposite. Usually qualitative research is just comments, okay? So for you, that may be the senior pastor saying, E3 partners did a phenomenal job. Put it in there. Put it in there in your partnership plan. Make a note of it for stewardship purposes. Again, you want to grow the partnership, okay? All right. Identify key implications for part the partnership plan. Um, after you've done, for instance, an initiative, say it's the Evangel Cube targeted to kids, consider the next generation. Maybe we use it to target it to teenagers or to adults, keep thinking about the implications for the plan, okay? Keep thinking how to grow it, how do you get it to a 3G level, you know? And then, lastly, stay engaged, stay engaged, stay engaged, okay? Keep doing what you do best. Equip, evangelize, establish. Now, here's the key here. After the mission trip is over, keep the lines of communication open. After the program is done, Keep the lines of communication open. Keep nurturing those partnerships. Keep nurturing those relationships. Send them a little note to their mailbox. If you find an article online or in the newspaper that your call point would be interested in, send it to them. Keep nurturing those relationships. You know, if you have the operating budget, take them out to breakfast or to dinner for your top tier churches, the ones that you see substantial opportunity with. You know? Keep learning learn about them and their families. Keep nurturing those relationships, okay? Next steps, review your handout notes. I saw a lot of you guys taking notes. I love that, I love that, I love that. Now, the notes that you're taking is not grocery list, right? <laughs> that would have just been so hurtful. But okay, <laughs> all right. Okay, good, I feel better now. All right, review the notes. Make sure you incorporate them in your current partnership plans and your new ones too, okay? I'm so happy you took notes because you know what's going to happen. You're going to leave here. You're going to go have a great dinner. You're going to be with your friends. You're going to continue the conference. And you go back to your geo markets. And when and if you think about our breakout session, you're only going to think about one thing. You know what it is? Yeah. <laughs> All about the speaker's bars. <laughs> so, okay? so I'm glad you're taking notes. Reach out for support. You all are so blessed to have a wonderfully talented organization. You know, creative, talented people. Reach out to your supervisors. You know, reach out to them and say, you know what? We attended this phenomenal breakout session in Dallas. She had candy. Okay. She also had some good ideas. Okay. What do you think about this idea for that church? What do you think about this suggestion for that donor? 
What do you think about this recommendation that mobilizing? Start the dialogue. 